One of the most popular wallet kits in history is the Top Notch Billfold Kit. This kit features an extra wide bill compartment and four roomy credit card pockets. It has a pre-punched tooling leather back, brown leather inside parts, lace, needle, pattern and instructions. Everything you need to make a great looking, long wearing, handcrafted billfold. Here is what is included in your top notch billfold kit. Number one is a vegetable tanned outside piece called the back for tooling. We have a cover strip for the inside of the back. We have five pieces for the inside parts. These are all leather. And of course, leather lace, a needle, and instructions. After you have completed your tooling, dyeing, and finishing of the back, it is time to start the assembly. We will start with the parts to make up the inside. You'll notice we have a main part for the inside, two large pockets, and two small pockets. So we'll start by lining up the large pocket with the end, as you can see, and then with the other pocket on top of it. Next, I will take a short piece of thread and I will go through the corner hole of all three of these pieces. And I will tie a little knot. Just an overhand knot is all we will need to hold it in place. Now I will do the same thing to the other side. Next, we will lace along the top with a whip stitch to attach these parts together. Now we'll do this to the top only. I will start by lifting these first two pockets and I'll go in the second hole from the end and uh, I will use about one yard of lace and I will allow about three quarters of an inch of lace as you can see here uh, that we will lace in between the leathers. Now I will go through the same hole again but going through all three thicknesses and then I will pull this up snug, making sure that it doesn't get twisted. Now I will go to the next hole, over the top. And I will pull it up snug. Not real tight, just snug. Now I will continue on to the next hole. Once again, pulling it up snug and notice that I am capturing the end of the lace that we began with. When you lace down to where the other pocket matches up then we will go through both thicknesses and we will then uh, pick up the other pocket there again placing just snug Now we will continue lacing down to the end. When you reach the other end, which would be right uh, in the next to last hole, you go through that hole, you go over the top, through the hole again, but only through the first pocket. You bring the needle inside as you can see and then 
we can cut it off and it'll be secure. Now we can remove the strings we had on there to hold it in place. Next, I will take a mallet and lightly tap down my threads so that they will lay flat. It is now time to put the divider strip into place. I will make sure that I get it onto the top edge, which is this edge, assuming that we had initials on this part. So now I will turn it over. I will place my strip along the top edge and then with my thread I will go through the corner holes and I will tie an overhand knot and I will do that on both ends. Next, we will put the inside assembly into place. I'll place it over, as you can see, with the finished side up. And with a piece of thread and a needle, I go through the corner hole in the bottom. As we did before, I will tie an overhand knot. Now we will also tie it together on the other end. Here again I go through all three layers of the inside part and through the corner hole. Now you will notice that the back is a little bit longer than the inside. This is the way it should be and it's important to allow for easy folding after the billfold is completely laced. So now we will also tie an overhand knot in that corner. Using the double loop lacing instructions that comes with this kit, I will now begin lacing the outside of the billfold. I will start in the third hole down from the corner and I will begin lacing using the instructions as shown on the sheet. When we lace around the end and the bottom and get to near the center, you'll notice now as I turn this over that the inside piece is shorter than the outside piece. That's because there's an extra hole in the center here that uh, we will not lace to the back. Uh, it's important because as we uh, fold, then it'll come out just right. Otherwise, it will buckle up in the middle. So it's important to know that we'll line up in the 20th hole on the inside from the end uh, however, we will lace the seven open holes first. After I go through the seventh hole, I will come back through the cross, and then I will go through the next hole, and then go through the first hole in the inside assembly now. You may need to fold this over a little bit to make it easier to line up those holes. And then once we get lined up and go through the holes, we'll go back through the cross. And now we will continue lacing down to the end.
after you lace across uh, the bottom and on both ends as we get to this corner over here uh, then you will be lacing through the back part only. You will not lace to the inside part from across the top. After lacing completely around the billfold and finishing the ending as shown in the instructions, we can now take a mallet and lightly tap the lacing down to get it to lie flat. And our billfold is finished.